I have before me a whole bunch of different items on my never-ending battle against rodents, and namely the crafty clever rat. Stay tuned, we're going to discuss some of these and uh, we're going to try something new. Hello, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. We came out to enjoy the beautiful autumn sunshine today, and I'm going to do a yet another episode on rodent control in a never-ending battle of you know, taking care of these nasty rodents. We've tried in a different uh, uh, previous video, we tried, uh, what was it, baking soda and flour. Uh, that works for mice, but the rats are way too crafty. And then we tried uh, 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 plaster of Paris with cocoa. Yeah, that's working. It really is working. And I'm finding dead rodents around water supplies because what happens is when they eat the cocoa, which is an attractant, uh, and the plaster mixed in with it, the plaster gets in. And when they add the f f uh, fluids in their system to the plaster, it it hardens and then they're not able to poop and so it's a slow death but at least they're getting their demise uh, as far as baking soda goes which is another um, way to cause a rat's demise is i've learned that rats do not have flatulence they do not fart and so when they eat the uh, whatever solution you're putting together with baking soda, that baking soda mixes with their stomach enzymes and it's just bubbling and blows them up because they're not able to fart. And I've been finding dead rodents around. Uh, yes, even rats. So whatever I'm using baking soda in, it is working. Uh, also, the plaster is working. Uh, another um, poison that I use is this Rat X. It doesn't work so well with rats. Even if I coat it in uh, an attractant like peanut butter here, and I coat this uh, poison, they'll, uh, that, they, they are eating it. Uh, I have been successful at so long as I coat it with peanut butter as an attractant, but just leaving this by itself, they will not touch this. So you've got a couple of attractants here that I'm going to um, point out. Peanut butter is an attractant. Uh, my European uh, viewers uh, suggested potato flakes with baking soda. And then even uh, some tried baking soda and sugar. And some even suggested sugar, potato flakes, baking soda, and cocoa powder. Uh, so why not try it all? I have these little containers right here. I've got prepared. We used them previously. And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and make one big concoction and uh, use the attractants. But the main ingredient here that is hopefully going to work and getting rid of those crafty little rats is the baking soda. Uh, we're going to try um, getting them that way. I've tried traps. I've tried a variety of traps. We have this mouse trap. A fancy little concoction. I picked this up free from an estate cleanup. Oh look, I caught a rat in this. Nice. Then I've got this live trap I've tried. I've never had any success trapping a rat. I have mice and squirrels, but not rat. Wait, no, I'm wrong. I did trap one rat in there and I was able to dispatch that rat. And then there's this famous rat trap it was probably the most prolific that everybody uses. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you go don't. But rats are real smart creatures. If they find out that this is causing their family members to die, they will teach everybody else not to uh, go and um, partake of that. I've even seen where a rat took a stick, set the rat trap off, <laughs> and took the bait. I tell you, they're crafty creatures. So what I'm going to mix up in this large container, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mix potato flakes, yes, 
And then I'm going to throw in a good portion of sugar. We need an attractant. So we're going to go throw sugar in there. Potato flakes is an attractant. Sugar is an attractant. Yep, there we go. And now the ingredient that I know is going to work. Okay, look how much stuff is in there. And we're gonna fill this up with a lot of baking soda. I'll place a lid on it and we're gonna mix it in. Yep. A really good attractant. Not yet. And just for good measure, let's top it off with some plaster of Paris and cocoa powder. Just not all of it, just a little bit of it. And see if we can get these rats to ignore the poison and go for the yummy stuff. Potato flakes, baking soda, sugar, plaster of Paris, and cocoa powder. And now I'm just going to dump this concoction in here. Yeah, I left a little hole right there for them to get into. We're going to do the same with it. Look at a little sucker went and chewed that up. Man. But they cleaned the inside out. So these were I, these I got out of my garden. But I'm not too concerned about the garden now because it is fall. But I'm going to go stick one under the house. We're going to take the mixture up to the barn and refill those. Uh, containers I have up around the barn, the bunny bungalow, the chicken coop. We're going to put this out up there. So we're going to make sure we have some uh, good traps set out. Let's go put this under the house. Now the one drawback to having this under the house is the road has no way to get out there and escape. So I'm going to end up having an odor under there for a while. Oh, I can't get that out. Why? Oh, because we had wet and the wood swelled. Uh, I have another plan. This is a port I built for reaching in here and turning my water main shut off. So we're going to slide that right in there. And that rat's going to smell it. Put that back. And that was easy. Uh, I just got to remember it's down there so I can check it from time to time. So let's go put the other ones up around the uh, livestock. Now just for kicks, let's bait this trap with some peanut butter. We'll put that up in the barn and set it. And then let's, let's bait this trap with some peanut butter. Just see if a rat is stupid enough to go in there. We'll try it. We'll stick these in the barn. Here's another life trap that I've been using. I have not been successful with this one at all. So, uh, but I do have a rodent problem down here. So we're gonna set this concoction under here. And I have another one right here that they've been eating from. And I want to put I want to put some in the rabbit house because I have a rodent in there. Somehow he found his way in here and I want to catch him. A little rat. Okay. 
Okay, we have, uh, let me set these down. And then we'll rebate this. There's fewer and fewer turds in here, I noticed. Because this bait I had baited this with is being very effective at uh, reducing the amount of rodents. But this time I just wanted to add the potato flakes to this combination. I did come out here, I did come out here just a little bit ago and um, well, it wasn't today, it was uh, about two, three days ago, and there was a single rat. Usually there's rats scurrying all over the place, but I'm down to one, one rat. So uh, we're gonna get him. Oh, let's let's um, set this trap. No livestock is in this part of the uh, barn, so I'm not worried about livestock. Oh. It just clicks into place. Ah, I haven't used one of these for a long time, but uh, we're gonna set it. And let's set it right down here. And then of course we baited this. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this set. And we'll set this over here by the feed cans because there's rotten turds back here and hopefully they'll be attracted by that. Now I got a couple more spots I need to put this like behind the turkey house. I've got a, um, a vessel back there to put it in. Let's go over there next. Now what's going to be interesting is the life trap and that other trap. That will be clear evidence that I caught something but not with this. Uh, Typically, I'll find them around the pond or around a, uh, there's a water reservoir back here behind the turkey house, you'll see. And I've found dead rodents over there. And I think the reason why the rodents are so attracted back here is because there's feed in here. Ugh. Okay, that about does it. Uh, I want to thank you, my viewers, for giving me some tips on trying to combat these uh, rodents. Like I said, rats are very crafty and you have to try your best to outsmart them. Uh, the, some of the just traditional stuff just doesn't work for some of these rats. So I'm going to go put a lid on this, put this away, and save it for replenishing these things in the near future and I'll keep a look out for any little uh, corpses and I'll let you guys know what I find what I you know and how I find them and see how successful we are so um, a homemade concoction of readily available products that you can uh, use for trying to kill these rodents uh, number one is your poison which is well it's it causes their demise which is baking soda somebody even suggested baking powder also which something i could try in the future is try a baking powder solution with sugar uh, and just you just need an attractant so we have three attractants in here and two poisons so either way we'll try to get them Well, that's it on this episode. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm or a frugal homestead up in the Cascade Ranges of the Pacific Northwest. Please stay tuned to more videos. You can do that by subscribing, clicking that bell icon, and hey, click that share button for me. Share my videos on your social media platforms helps us out. Also, uh, if you leave a comment, tip, trick, uh, compliment, whatever. And remember, always be safe. And always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Fingers crossed. I hope I'm successful.